embark on a spellbinding odyssey through the frostbitten realms of Westeros as we meticulously unravel the epic saga of Jon Snow, a character whose profound sense of honor, unwavering bravery, and deep-seated loyalty left an indelible mark on the tapestry of the Game of Thrones universe. Witness the transformation of a once disregarded bastard into the steadfast shield that guards the realms of men. Delve into the intricacies of Jon's tumultuous journey, a poignant narrative woven with threads of betrayal, heart-wrenching love, fierce loyalty, and a relentless, unyielding fight against the encroaching shadows of death that threaten to engulf the living. This tale is not just one of personal growth and identity, but also a testament to the enduring power of honor and duty in the face of overwhelming darkness. Join us as we uncover the layers of Jon Snow's legendary story, exploring how his experiences shaped not only his destiny, but also the fate of Westeros itself. Dive deep into the origins of Jon Snow, whose story unfolds in the ancient, stone-cold halls of Winterfell, where he was brought as an infant by Lord Eddard Stark. This enigmatic child, claimed as Ned's own blood, was nurtured amidst the howling winds and towering sentinels of the Stark stronghold. Here, Jon grew up in the shadow of a profound mystery, his very existence intertwined with the Stark family's honor and secrets. From his earliest days, Jon stood apart from his siblings, marked by the supposed stain of illegitimacy. His stark, gray eyes mirrored the solemnity of Winterfell's skies, a constant emblem of his outsider status. While his half-siblings basked in the warmth of their noble birthright, Jon was relegated to the margins, his place at the family hearth begrudgingly tolerated but unmistakably conditional. Lady Catelyn Stark's coldness towards him served as a daily reminder of his uncertain place in the world, her gaze as icy as the northern frost, underscoring the silent, unbridgeable gap between them. Despite the undercurrents of tension and unspoken questions surrounding his parentage, Jon formed deep bonds with his Stark kin, especially Rob, with whom he shared a brotherhood as profound as the deep northern roots. Yet, it was the wall that called to him, beckoning with a promise of belonging and purpose. Jon harbored no illusions of grandeur or aspirations for power. Instead, he was drawn to the austere life of the Night's Watch, where men of all pasts pledged their lives to stand as the realm's shield against the encroaching darkness. His decision to join the Night's Watch was not merely an escape from the confines of his bastard status, but a step towards embracing a destiny that seemed ordained by the whispering winds of the North. Jon's journey to the Wall symbolized a quest for identity and a place where his valor and commitment could stand for something greater than himself, beyond the prejudiced views of Westerosi society. In this crucible of ice and snow, Jon Snow's true journey began a path fraught with peril, loyalty, and the search for a sense of belonging. His story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the search for identity, and the unyielding courage to face whatever lies beyond the safety of Winterfell's ancient walls. As we delve further into his saga, we uncover not just the tale of a young man's coming of age, but a narrative that reflects the complexities of honor, duty, and legacy in the unforgiving world of the Seven Kingdoms. As Jon Snow's footsteps echo in the frozen corridors of Castle Black, he transitions from the isolated world of a perceived outsider to the esteemed Brotherhood of the Night's Watch. Here, amidst the ancient stones that stand vigilant against the encroaching cold, Jon finds his purpose, shaping his identity in the crucible of the Watch's rigorous traditions and the unforgiving landscape of the North. In this stark, monastic order, Jon's early days are a baptism by ice and snow, where every moment is a test and every face a potential ally or adversary. The black-clad brothers of the Watch, a mosaic of forsaken nobles, exiled sons, and repentant criminals, become his new kin. Their shared oath binds them in a brotherhood deeper than blood, united in their sacred vow to guard the realms of men from the dark forces that lurk beyond. Jon's innate leadership qualities and combat skills, honed in the yards of Winterfell, do not go unnoticed. Lord Commander Jor Mormont, a grizzled veteran of a thousand northern winters, sees in Jon a rare blend of valor and virtue, a potential leader in the looming shadow of unprecedented threats. Under Mormont's stern but guiding hand, Jon is groomed for command, his every duty sculpting the raw recruit into a guardian of the realm. Yet, the wall is more than just stone. It is a symbol of the eternal vigil against the darkness that threatens to engulf the world of men. As Jon adapts to his new role, the ancient, icy barrier whispers secrets of forgotten magic and hidden dangers. The legends of the North come alive, no longer old wives' tales but grim realities as the White Walkers, mythic beings of ice and death, 
begin to stir after millennia, their malevolent gaze fixed on the realms of the living. John's transformation is profound, marked by the forging of bonds with fellow watchmen like Samuel Tarley, the gentle-hearted scholar who becomes his steadfast friend. Together, they navigate the complexities of duty and honor, their friendship alight in the darkening world. With each trial, John's sense of duty deepens, his commitment to the Watchy's cause becoming as unyielding as the wall itself. The looming threat of the undead, a chilling specter from beyond the wall, tests John's courage and resolve. The ancient evils, long dismissed as mere shadows of superstition, reveal themselves with terrifying clarity, their return a portent of a greater battle to come. John stands on the precipice of destiny, his sword drawn not for glory or honor, but to protect humanity from the cold grasp of oblivion. In this chapter of his journey, Jon Snow embodies the heart of the Night's Watch, his story interwoven with the eternal vigil that defines the Brotherhood. He emerges not just as a warrior of the North, but as a beacon of hope in the gathering storm, his destiny inexorably linked to the fate of all who dwell under the shadow of the Wall. Upon ascending to the esteemed rank of Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, Jon Snow faces the Herculean task of welding together a fractured brotherhood, now standing as the thin, black-clad line between civilization and the unimaginable horrors lurking beyond the wall. His elevation is not merely a promotion in rank, but a profound testament to his character, marked by the weight of centuries-old traditions and the looming threat of oblivion. In this new, formidable role, Jon's leadership undergoes the ultimate crucible. He confronts not only the external enemies clawing at the gates, but also the internal descent that threatens to unravel the very fabric of the Watch. His decisions, steeped in the bitter wisdom of hard-earned experience, aim to fortify the ancient order against the gathering storm that seeks to erase the world of men. The spectral shadows of White Walkers, long dismissed as mere legend, now press close, their existence no longer deniable. They bring with them a winter that seeks to cloak the world in perpetual darkness, their army of the dead an ever-growing testament to their chilling power. John, with eyes open to the true enemy, strives to unite not just the Night's Watch, but all of humanity against the cold grasp of the night. His leadership, however, is more than a matter of military command. It is a journey of the heart and soul. John's encounters with the wildling Egret challenge his understanding of duty, love, and the rigid laws that govern the land. Through her, John glimpses the arbitrary lines that divide humanity, realizing that the true battle is not against those who were born on the other side of the wall, but against the shared enemy of the living. The ethos of the Night's Watch sacrifice, honor, and unwavering vigilance becomes the cornerstone of John's command. He embodies the solemn vow to protect the realms of men, whatever the cost, his own life merely a small price in the grand tapestry of history. His tenure as Lord Commander is marked by the stark realization that true leadership often demands the greatest sacrifices, and the mantle he carries is heavy with the silent whispers of those who stood watch before him. As the dead advance, John's resolve is tempered like steel in the forge of relentless adversity. The icy fires of sacrifice illuminate his path, a stark beacon against the encroaching darkness, his every decision a balancing act between the unforgiving codes of the past and the desperate needs of the present. In this era of uncertain dawn, Jon Snow stands as the embodiment of the Night's Watch's enduring oath, his spirit unbroken, his will unbent, his resolve unyielding in the face of the endless night. Jon Snow's journey transcends the austere boundaries of Castle Black, propelling him towards the ancient, hallowed grounds of Winterfell, the very heart of the North. This transition is not merely geographical but symbolic, marking his evolution from the supposed illegitimacy of a bastard to embracing his inherent Stark lineage. His ascent to become the king in the north is a testament to his unwavering integrity, leadership, and the deep-rooted respect he commands among the northern clans and their vassals. As the king in the north, Jon is thrust into the vortex of political intrigue and the looming specter of war that threatens to consume the realms of men. His crown is a heavy burden, laden with the responsibility of safeguarding his people against the encroaching darkness that the wall was meant to hold at bay. His rule is characterized by a series of strategic decisions, each echoing the stark creed of honor and the relentless pursuit of uniting all factions against the common foe of the living dead. The crux of Jon's kingship is his controversial alliance with Daenerys Targaryen, a union forged in the fires of necessity and the mutual recognition of the existential threat posed by the Night King and his legions. This alliance, fraught with political and personal challenges, becomes the fulcrum upon which the fate of the North pivots. 
Their combined strength, dragons and armies alike, symbolizes a beacon of hope against the nightmarish onslaught that seeks to annihilate the world of the living. However, the path of war weaves a complex tapestry of sacrifice, loss, and the harrowing cost of power. John's leadership, marked by a confluence of valor and vulnerability, faces the ultimate crucible as the truths of his lineage unfold, revealing a heritage that intertwines the ancient bloodlines of Stark and Targaryen. This revelation challenges the very foundations of his identity and his claim to the throne, stirring a tumultuous inner conflict between duty and honor, love and loyalty. In the aftermath of the Great War, as the ashes settle over the scarred lands of Westeros, Jon confronts the ramifications of his lineage and the consequences of the choices forged in the heat of battle. The weight of his decisions culminates in a poignant resolution, where his honor and a profound sense of justice guide him towards relinquishing the trappings of power. Embracing his true self, Jon chooses exile over acclaim, his final act as a leader reflecting a deep-rooted nobility and an unyielding commitment to the greater good. This final chapter of Jon Snow's arc from the King in the North to the Warden of the North encapsulates a journey fraught with trials and transformations. His path, marked by the relentless pursuit of justice and the protection of his people, stands as a lasting legacy that transcends the ephemeral nature of crowns and thrones, embodying the timeless essence of the North and the enduring spirit of the Stark lineage. As the echoes of Jon Snow's footsteps fade into the annals of Westerosi legend, his enduring legacy stands as a monumental testament to the eternal struggle between light and darkness, life and death. His journey, marked by profound sacrifices and the relentless pursuit of righteousness, transcends the lure of the Iron Throne, embodying the essence of true leadership and the unwavering commitment to safeguarding the realm. John's final act, a solemn return to the true north beyond the wall, is not an end but a poignant affirmation of his core identity. This act encapsulates the very essence of his odyssey, a life dedicated to honor, duty, and the relentless search for a place where his soul is at peace. It's here, in the vast, untamed wilderness, that John finds his truest self, liberated from the burdens of crowns and titles, yet forever upholding the silent oath to protect humanity. His story is a poignant reminder that true heroism is often unsung, and the greatest leaders are those who shun personal glory for the greater good. John Snow, with his quiet resolve and indomitable spirit, remains the steadfast shield that guards the realms of men, his legacy echoing through the ages as a beacon of hope, resilience, and unwavering courage. As our journey through the life of Jon Snow concludes, we invite you to keep his spirit alive by engaging with his story. Subscribe and hit the like button to honor the memory of a character whose depth and nobility have left an indelible mark on the world of Game of Thrones. Share your reflections, favorite moments, and how Jon's journey resonated with you in the comments below. Let's celebrate together the legacy of the man who, through the harshest winters and the fiercest battles, remained the true shield that guards the realms of men. The realms of men. The realms of men.